Now for something that's going to get company car drivers around the UK sweaty under their dirty little nylon ties. Yeah, they thought they were stuck with all the usual Mondeo and Vectra stuff. Well, not anymore. You know what? There's this. The facelifted Honda Accord Tourer. Uh, Tom, can I be honest with you? It excites me about as much as a potato on a plate. What is special about this? Listen, I think it looks really sharp, and what you don't know is the fact that this is full of the best gadgets in this sector. Right. This thing has got more tech than a space shuttle. You took it on a test drive. How did it go? It, it wasn't just a test drive, my friend. Oh, this my was God. a road trip. Oh. And just here is a little clue as to where I went with it. The Northwest 200 is one of the world's biggest spectator events and definitely the most exciting road race bar none. Unlike the Isle of Man TT, where bikes race one at a time against a clock, here in Ireland the bikes race all together around nine miles of closed public roads, inches from curbstones and walls at speeds topping 200 miles an hour. It is the world's fastest circuit. Now, to stand any chance of winning, you have to have A, a very brave rider, and B, a really very powerful engine. But there is actually a C. A £100,000 fireblade like that actually needs a little electronic brain to tell it what to do. Otherwise, it just sits there and thinks it's a... Well, it thinks it's a cabbage. It needs to get to the Northwest 200 extremely safely. Otherwise, the riders are basically just going to be sat there on cabbages. Hence, I will be personally chauffeuring the brain in the new Honda Accord Tourer. Morning. Morning. Right, so that's the big box. I think I may have overkilled the boot space. Thanks very much. Take it easy. Now, Honda have made no secret of the fact that they've climbed all over the BMW 3 Series to try and make this new Accord a more fun car to drive. But to be honest, that's a bit like trying to make giant haystacks more like a whippet. It's a, a little bit lower, it's got a lower centre of gravity and a wider track, so it feels a lot more planted than it did before. Thing is though, because it's a front-wheel drive chassis, it never feels quite as fun as the 3 Series. It's sort of more comfort orientated than sporty, which is probably a good thing given the fact that my cargo is delicate. Thanks for your help. Well, I'm not going to leave it in here. Back on the road, it was time to test some of the technology on this 28 grand car. Whereas other car manufacturers have tried to simplify their dashboard interfaces, Honda has decided to give everything a button. And I mean everything. There's 76. Oh, no. 77, 78. Uh, 79, 80. There's 80 buttons that I can count readily on this steering wheel and dash, and some of them are also rotary controls to pick from menus. That's too many, Honda! It's what the buttons do that's important, and one of the options is the lane keep assist function, a system that stops you drifting over the white lines if you start dozing off. It's got a few safety features which mean that it will start to flash and beep at you and then switch off. So if you don't pay attention, then you'll either wake up or you'll still crash. It's not a way of uh, just getting on a motorway and then going into the back seat and having a kit. The second system, collision mitigation braking, is radar based and helps you not to crash into the car in front if you aren't paying attention and are racing up behind it. It works in two stages. Stage one tightens the seatbelt, preparing you for a crash. Oh. Do you see that? Do you see it pulling the seatbelts? Stage two kicks in when you're really close and will actually damp the brakes on your behalf. But testing it is um, rather unnerving. No, I can't trust it. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't let that do that. I can't let that do that. I can't let it get that close. I, I don't think that's going to break. Maybe, maybe if we go a bit quicker, it, it might do it. Oh, my word! That's really odd. <laughs> it worked, though. It works. Like everything with Honda, you just have to trust the engineers. That actually pulls your seatbelt really tight, and if you've had a big lunge, that could... Uh, that could be quite affecting. Well, here we are. We're just waiting to uh, 
get into the pits and we've we've managed it in plenty of time. I've even done it in one tank of diesel, which means this thing's got a range of, I don't know, 550 miles odd. I'm comfortable, I'm happy. It's a really good car for actually driving long distance. There's only one problem. I've played with all the gadgets, I've fiddled with all the technology, and I'm still not that in love with it. This is a great piece of engineering, but it's just not a very sexy car. The sexiness comes from other Honda departments, and I don't mean the mowers. So, how did the team do? Well, the brain I delivered helped them to an excellent pole position and third overall. Hmm, maybe I broke the brain a bit after all.